Hey everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Escalon Book 2. So, we're in the middle of our first dungeon. I really was not expecting a full-on dungeon at the bottom of the well, especially not one of this um, considerable size, but here we are. Julian's been busy, apparently. The subject is secured with a somewhat good brass lock. Okay, we don't have any lockpicks, not to mention any lockpicking skill, so hopefully we'll be able to find a key to that. Looks like we are still only dealing with rats. Oh, we see a moldy corpse. The amount of decay suggests to you that this person has been dead for a few weeks. Ew. Red? Red? Are you... Oh, the red is not aware of me? Well, um, I mean, I already have sandals and a cloak, right? Oh, although... Hold on a second. Yeah, this cloak is better. Leather-like cloak. Oh yeah, this is hemp. I see. Thanks for the armor upgrade. Hemp sandals for one. One. Okay. Did find this, but this just doesn't have any armor. Okay. Um, why does Red Meat... Oh, this is unknown. Did I just pick this up from the last Red I killed, or is this from some container of some sort? Oh, now I had a 46% to hit chance. Oh, maybe I had been seeing that right. I gotta say, this uh, power combat mode is working a lot better than I ever expected. Oh. A secret pressure plate on the floor. Stepping on it, you hear the sound of a stone wall moving to the southwest. Well, that's convenient. I really just went there to pick up the torch, of course. Um, nope, speaking of torches. I mean, thankfully they tend to tend to be plentiful enough that it's not a big problem that they don't last very long. So I cannot interact with campfires. In fact, I cannot even burn myself by stepping into it. That's good to know. Totally would have been... Would not have been surprised to find out that I, I did burn myself. Are you, Julian? I mean, you kind of have to be, right? Who else would be down here? Save the game. Uh-huh. Uh, looks maybe a little bit deranged. In the darkness, you see a man who appears dirty and confused, pacing around this uh, squalid living space. He's startled at your presence. Who are you? How did you find me? As he speaks, his eyes dart from side to side, and saliva pools in the corners of his mouth. Okay. Um, my name is Vic. I assume you are Julian, Father Tyrus' missing disciple. Yeah? It's a pretty neutral greeting. Just an adventurer. Um... Makes no difference who I am. Unfortunately, we've run into each other on a day when I'm feeling a bit unsocial. Uh, is that supposed to mean that, that I'm going to attack him just because I've, I'm feeling unsocial? That uh, seems a bit extreme. Um, I mean, I feel like I feel like that a lot, but I don't usually kill people, so... <laughs> anyway, my name is Vic. I, yes, let's go with that one. Ha! Yes, I am Julian. Did that old fool send you down here to retrieve me? Uh, you can tell that worm... Worm, that he holds no dominion over me, and I'm sickened by his devotion to his false god. I am no longer his disciple. When the four stars assemble, uh, the four stars, you say? You mean Cruxus, perhaps? He will fall to his knees in anguish upon realizing the error of his ways. The four stars? What is this? Hmm. Julian's eyes widen in excitement. They do not, they are not to be spoken of. The one has promised that the faithful will be shown the truth in the end of days. You would be most wise to listen to his words. If you are not a follower of the One, you are his enemy. Oh no, I did I forget to mention? I'm obviously a... Tell me more of the One. Mm, I mean, I wish I could pretend to be a follower of the One. Because it's, this guy seems like it would be easy enough to fool, probably, in his deranged state. Uh, no need for your lunatic, lunatic religion. The time for talk is over. Eh, let's try to end this peacefully, although I really have my doubts. The One. The One is a perfect being. He has witnessed the rise of the race of man and dwarves from primitive warring tribes, but he has grown tired of this land and its people. We lust for gold and wage war simply to dis simply to display our might. We're just we are still just primitive, pathetic creatures. The One is elegant and omnipotent. He is going to cleanse this land by bringing the four stars together. Those who accept this will be saved, and those who don't will perish. Suddenly, Julian's demeanor changes. His body becomes tense, and he looks away for a moment, before turning to face you again. 
The one has warned us of those who might try to impede his actions. You have not come here to learn of the one, have you? Julian pulls a dagger from his belt. Uh... Yes, I am really interested. I really am interested. Please continue. Uh, is this really going to work at this point? You lie! You are no better than a filthy dog, and you are not worthy of knowing the One and his plans. Would you endeavor to prevent him from assembling the Four Stars and cleansing this land? You have come to find me not by coincidence. You have come to find me not by coincidence. The One has brought you to me so that I may stop you. May my dagger do his bidding and end your life now. Yeah, that's kind of what I expected to happen. It's unfortunate. Let's see. Okay, okay. Good hit, although he seems to have a bit more uh, health than those rats. Central 12. Okay, 50% hit chance, even with uh, reduced hit chance. Okay. Took 5 damage. Missed. Hit again. Took 2 damage. Well, I'm definitely winning this one. Come on. And down he goes, 100 XP. Something's been dropped. Let's heal myself, like so. Nice. Okay, okay. Uh, rusted key. Well, we definitely came across at least one locked door so far, so that's good. Oh, food. I would like some... Uh, well, I definitely need the lore spell, for one. That's definitely, definitely a thing. Because I can't even identify common food that I find. And... What? Oh. Okay. Barbed Arts Trap. Well, thankfully that didn't do a ton of damage. Any more traps? I don't even know if, uh, if you need to actively use some, some sort of skill to find traps, or if it's just a matter of having enough perception. Which, I guess my perception is seems decent at least, but maybe you need to actually stand still next to a trap. In fact... I'm suspecting this uh, this chest to be trapped, perhaps, but maybe not. Oh. Secured with a flimsy loose lock. And the key that I have does not help with that, so... That chest is sturdy. And I really hope that I'm not going to break what's inside. But obviously I don't have any lockpicks. I'm not going to have any lockpicking skill anytime soon, so... Seems like the only way to even get into this. Okay, hemp sandals and some stones to throw. Oh. Okay, I suppose. And where was that door? Wait, what's up here? I guess I never went here because I saw Julian. Right, I also feel like I started talking about something, but then I didn't. Oh, identifying stuff. Yeah. Is that all I meant to mention? Maybe. Hmm. Can I eat this unknown food? No. Well, that's unfortunate. So I, I could literally starve or die of thirst with uh, an unknown item of food in my inventory. Okay, apples give you a, a, a tiny amount of, of water. Which makes sense. Um... Technically, meat should as well. Nope. Doesn't, though. Yeah, okay. Would be kind of unfortunate. I mean, it would be unfortunate anyway, but also somewhat ironic to, to die of thirst at the bottom of a well. Of course, if it's a dried well, then it's not really that ironic or unexpected. Did I forget to pick up some torches? That I could have picked up. Also, oh, this is—I guess this is not a torch, but one of those tall, standing things. I guess it's still a kind of torch, just not one in a wall sconce. Uh oh. Come on. Come on, rat, please. Oh. Parried again, or glanced off, I guess. Red meat. More red meat. Oh, yeah, I was gonna say there are bones here. 
Uh, this area appears to have been undergoing recent excavation. The walls uh, have fresh scars caused by a pickaxe or a similar tool. Kegs of black powder stand ready to be detonated, but perhaps the final job was interrupted by the large pack of rats who seem to have taken up residence. Oh, okay. Actually, there is only one keg of black powder. Oh, no, never mind. There's two. Huh, should I not maybe put them close together so they create some sort of chain reaction? So, let's see here. Facing matters, so... By doing this, I should put it right next to it, the other one. Actually, I probably don't need that, do I? I'm encumbered. Yeah, okay, that's fine. So... Let's see here. Um, wait. Weapon slot, of course. Um, these rocks don't do a ton of damage, though. So, um, actually... Yeah. Well, I mean, max damage 7 right now. And I should be able to hit no matter what. Um, however, when I first experimented with this... Yeah, okay. Wait, did I use a stone to... Did I? It doesn't say. It looked like I punched. I don't know how many rocks I started with. Was it nine or was it eight? It's fine. Um, okay, that exploded and did indeed blow up the wall. This room you have blasted your way into is strange. The walls are different from the rest of the area beneath the well, and there is no other visible entrance. Despite the fact that there is little dust little dust. Uh, adorning the floor, you suspect this room has not been visited since it was built a very long time ago. Prior knowledge of some unseen unseen hand must have guided the excavation here. A large chest against the northwest wall beckons you. Ominous. Of course, uh, this is not going to be trapped, right? No, it's not. And it just has gold inside. What? Why would Julian have been drawn to this chest full of gold? Hmm. Just to serve as funding to um, allow him to more easily, you know, I don't know, help the cause of the of the one. Hmm. That does seem kind of odd. I was expecting some sort of ancient evil artifact. Okay, so you do discover traps just like that. The question is, what do you do about them? How do you disarm traps? I don't think there's a specific command for that. Maybe you just click on it? After... Ah, okay. Uh, steam bath. 54% chance of successful disarm. Yeah, I'll try it. I mean, it's not going to kill me, probably, and if it damages me, I can heal myself. And maybe if I... Oh. Okay, that just happened automatically. And yeah, I was hoping to get experience from that, from doing it successfully, so... Wow. Yeah, sure, I'll try again. Alright. Lucky. What? Oh, I have the wrong thing equipped. And I think I'm actually throwing rocks at the rats. Or at whatever. Yeah, I definitely don't want to be attacked by two things at once. But that's pretty much unavoidable at this point, so... Okay. No problem. I really do need to hurry up, though. I'm guessing that Thirst is not going to kill me instantly. Ah, that's a back... Okay, that is a convenient shortcut. I didn't even notice the lever on the other side. That's nice. Now, where was that locked door? Or did I already open that? Oh, wait. Did I? I also didn't notice that the map scrolls, apparently. Yeah, sure it does. Of course it does. Um, I did find that key, and I did come across a locked door somewhere. Dang it, where was that? I Actually, you know what? I'm kind of getting close to the entrance, and I absolutely want to quench my thirst. So, yeah, even even though, as I started to, to say there, maybe this was locked? Oh, it was. Well then, that works. Um, 
Yeah, even though, uh, I mean, Thirst is probably not going to outright kill me and just damage me. Which I can probably outheal, but still. Obviously don't want that to happen. What is this? You see a watercolor painting. It's a landscape, though you don't recognize the region it represents. Hmm. Okay. Maybe it's fictional. Or maybe it's just one of the countless places that I've never been to. Uh, survival supplies. Oh, including maybe some water? Okay, that's just a bale of hay, I guess? Not a chest? What? Uh, sturdy oak sealed barrel. Sealed, you say? God, why are things so sturdy? I guess later in the game I will have weapons that just deal a ton more damage, but it seems a bit silly to hack away at a simple empty barrel like this for this long. I'm really glad that I'm playing without item breakage though. Oh, hello there. Unknown things. Oh, I can't move now. Yeah, fair enough. I wonder... <laughs> and this is extremely silly. I can't even turn in place. That sucks. Okay. Um, hold on. I for inventory. Drop one of these. Yeah, but you drop it in front of you. I, um, I'm going to try and blow up some of these barrels. Um, just because I can? I think I can. Let's see. If I face that way, pick that up. No, I turn, turn to face it. That is mildly annoying. Okay, you know what? It's okay. I can obviously just temporarily drop items. Yeah, it's just going to be a little bit more cumbersome. There. Oh. The fact that you cannot just place the item freely in this mode, but you literally just put it straight in front of your character is a little bit annoying, but it's okay. Obviously, you don't have to do this very often, probably. Okay, just for fun. I'm assuming that this is just going to destroy. Oh, yeah, I mean, I, I'm pretty sure that the destruction radius is only one tile around. Save. Okay, that killed me. Yep, yep, yep. I should have punched. Uh, load, yes. Quick save. So I, I was wondering if, uh, if the axe would actually deal enough damage to one-shot the barrel. And yes, it did. Go figure. Okay, so you want to do that, then punch it, so the barrel's almost out, and then, then we do what we did last time, equip these rocks, and throw one. And that did indeed blow up the surrounding barrels, and rotted meat, nice. And uh, does not seem to have destroyed the contents anymore. Uh, nope than uh, just breaking them open manually would have. Okay, secure with a lock of moderate quality. Mm. Sealed barrel. I mean, maybe I should... I guess I can just blow up the, the chest. Probably. Also, did I pick up anything useful? No, we don't know what that is. A lantern. Hmm. I mean, would a lantern be better than torches? Or is that even usable? I guess we'll see once we identify it. Huh. Hemp sandals. Okay. Um, yeah, rotted meat. Value zero. Makes sense. Maybe I can sell it anyway. I don't know. Um, is there anything else useful around here? A lot of barrels to hack through, which I obviously can do, since, you know, durability is not a concern. But I will try to, just for fun, blow open this chest. Okay, so, once again, we press the correct buttons, unequip the axe, save the game, just, just in case. Because apparently I'm strong enough to one-shot punch. An explosive barrel. Hmm. It's 
That's a, yep. Ah, and I, I wonder if these rolls are also predetermined. I mean, damage co uh, combat rolls weren't mentioned. Nope. Uh, hmm. That was a different uh, health value, though, I think. So I think it's still random. Okay, one more try. All right. Never mind. I guess... What could I equip? Do I have anything... I guess I can equip the, the iron knife that I'm not proficient with. To reduce my damage? Oh yeah, that works. Okay, that might be enough. That's also definitely far enough away. We equip this. And that at least damaged the chest. Okay, let's go back to that. Oh. Steel bar snaps out and smashes into your kneecaps, causing your legs to buckle. Okay. Oh, that's, that was literally just a trap. Not backlash from attacking something sturdy. Well, in that case, we'll just hack away at this very, very sturdy chest, but at least we took off half its durability with the TNT, which is somewhat convenient. Well, we're slowly getting there. I mean, it's obviously quite possible that uh, container contents do get damaged when you break the thing. But, um, I mean, I haven't found anything, any, any uh, you know, item that was just named, uh, I don't know, debris or something, indicating that, you know, it, it used to be a more useful item. Uh, Pine Council Bludgeoning Weapon, Unknown Magical Ring, Cotton Wick Reagent. Okay, okay. Getting some things. Rotted apples. Ew. No, I'm not even going to pick those up. Not even going to. There goes my... Torch. Some bread that I actually know what it is. I just... you. I guess you never find any drink inside containers. No bottles of ale or wine or anything? Nope. It's really inconvenient. Well, barrels, barrels aren't so bad. Thankfully. Nothing there. Oh, an unknown book. And nothing else here. Three more barrels to break. Probably gonna get thirsty or start taking damage from thirst any moment now. Hopefully I'm correct and I'm gonna be able to outheal the damage. It'd be quite inconvenient, quite unfortunate if not. Fresh apples. Well, I mean, I could use one of those to maybe stave off the thirst for a while. Map of Escalon, the third one. Is that any way different? Of course not. Why would it be? Well, these might be an upgrade. They look like leather, so probably not heavy armor. Probably something we can use. Nice. We also have enough money to hopefully be able to identify most of these things and then sell them for a profit. Okay. Um, it's fine. I'm Hoping I don't, I'm not missing anything. Okay, dehydration. What's that do? Minus one HP every twenty rounds. Oh, that's that's nothing. That's okay. Yeah, that's super low damage. I feel a little bit bad for my character, but I mean, if I can rehydrate myself for free, I will do so. And uh, yeah. For now, I'm just going to head outside. In fact, I... No, I mean, at this point, I'm obviously almost at the at the exit. And I suppose I probably could have used the, the TNT to blow this open, huh? That was that probably was the idea to create this shortcut. Although, this is not really a, that much of a shortcut. I mean, yeah. Take your time. These loading times, man. Pretty rough. There. Heal myself? Nice. Uh, father? I have uh, kind of bad news. Good and bad. Uh, have you, oh, have you heard about the murder over at the inn? 
Uh, he probably has it by now. Oh yes, news like that uh, travels very quickly here in quiet, uh, in quiet little East Willow. Let me tell you this, our destinies are forged from our actions. If you walk the path of light, you will be blessed. I don't believe in blessings, unfortunately. If you walk the path of darkness and debauchery, your fate will only be that of suffering and merciless death. Not for me, hopefully. I do not know the man who was killed here, but his fate was certainly determined by the path in life that he chose to walk. Mm, okay, I, I don't know about that, but that's fine. Who are you to pass judgment on others? Um, I mean, perhaps you're right. Maybe he just had it coming. I don't know that. Uh, I, I Really, I would just not comment this at all if I had the choice, but between these... <laughs> screw you for, you know, actually judging. But the Tyrus clenches his jaw uh, as a vein swells across his forehead. I am a priest of Mosan, by which I am an extension of his word and his will. I pass judgment as he would, if he were here before us now. The priest lifts his staff several inches above the floor and then hammers it back down, causing a thunderous crack. Okay. How dare you come into his covenant and question my authority? I do not follow the dogma of Mosan, nor do I acknowledge your authority, foolish codger. I would say this minus... The insult at the end? Okay, it's fine. I'm in... I'm in his church. Maybe I misspoke. I should just have stayed quiet, except that wasn't an option. The priest breathes deeply and composes himself, his beet-red face slowly returning to a more natural tone. I understand. It is normal to question that which you do not understand, but one should not do so... Uh, one, one should do so in a respectful manner. Yeah, yeah. I usually agree, but... Oh, well. Anyway... So he has heard about that. Awesome. Um, I found your missing disciple in the well. Unfortunately, he's now dead. Yeah. And I really don't think there was a choice. I mean, there's... Unless I missed that there is uh, some, some kind of skill that has to do with convincing people. Some kind of uh, speech skill. But I don't think there is. So I think that was just unavoidable. Well, 500 XP. That was enough to level me up and then some. Nice. And a lot of gold as well. Oh dear, well, I expected he would not return to the Covenant willfully. It is always unfortunate when there is a loss of life, but you have done as Mosan would have, would have you do, and for that you will be blessed. I will take it upon myself to contact his family. Take this gold for your efforts and your discretion in this matter. Right. I think I am going to talk to this lady here, Wendy, was it? Uh, and see if she will... if I'll be able to tell her that Julian is dead, or at least no longer around. Maybe that's, that alone is going to ease her? Maybe. Uh, we'll see. Um, level up, huh? Let's see. Three attribute points and three skill points. Oh, okay. That's more generous than I was expecting. No. Okay. Strength. I, mean, I think I have plenty of strength. I think my damage is fine. I would like better hit chance. Although even that has been surprisingly okay. But um, yeah, two hit rating. Armor rating is also nice. Using bows, throwing weapons, and picking locks. If I ever uh, pick up the pick lock skill, I guess it would come in handy, huh? Maybe two points in here. 12 looks better than 10, doesn't it? Speed. Um, how quickly a character is to perform actions? Faster he can swing a melee weapon, thus increasing maximum damage. Oh, okay, so, so that's literally just... Um, I thought it was literally increasing attack speed, so you would get more attacks in, but it's, I guess it's implemented as just increasing max damage. Base armor rating as well. Okay. And Wisdom. Magical skill of Divination, as well as Disease Resistance, and some Defensive stance. The only attribute that can protect your character against Cursings. Which I've already... Immune against. For healers, wisdom contributes to the number of mana points gained every level. So, yeah, I want this to be high. But I also have my perception. Hmm, I mean, turns out that perception is pretty good. It's already worked surprisingly well in uh, warning me about those traps, just as I was about to step onto them. That was surprising. Hmm, <sighs> perception. To hit... Maybe, yeah, maybe I'll just focus on my on my two-hit by increasing both dexterity and concentration. Why not? Now, I absolutely want my cartography to be better. You know what? I'm, I'm gonna even push it all the way to five, hoping that that will finally start uh, marking water and maybe some other environmental features. And, you know, if... 
I think at that point I'm, I'm going to be okay with it. And, you know, I just want to get that out of the way so I can start focusing on other things. Weapons. Maybe I should start working on my spellcasting ability as well. I'm tempted to improve my fighting, but I mean, fighting seems to be going all right against these early game enemies. So this might be fine. Uh, yes. Okay. Hit points and mana have increased a little bit. Um... Two hit has not increased, max damage has also not increased. Yeah, that's that's fine, I suppose. Um, has the mapping ability improved at all? Oh yeah, okay. So now you actually fill in different kinds of terrain. So previously green was just ground that I had seen, I guess, or been close to. Whereas at only level 1 cartography, you literally would only have these brown walls, and that's it. But now you actually have different colors for different types. Um, and I'm guessing that water is going to be blue now, as it should be. Oh yeah, that's so much better. <laughs> that's so much more useful. Now you can actually use this map. Oh, I never went here, huh? Ham sandals. Oh, right. I also, I'm also i also still uh, dehydrating, so I probably should fix that. As I was meaning to. Um, I could. I guess I could do my... Item identification identification first. Just to get that out of the way. Oh, hey, I found a strange arrow. Oh, I didn't even think of that. Yeah, I guess... I mean, a blacksmith doesn't necessarily know about arrows, but... You know, he's probably the best person around to, to ask about it. So, yeah, that makes sense. Kiba takes the arrow and examines it closely. By the gods, this is an exquisite piece of craftsmanship. He exclaims, balancing the arrow mid-shaft across his finger. Look, it is perfectly balanced, and straight as a beam of sunlight. Kiba takes a closer look at the head of the arrow. This arrowhead is made of a high-grade high, high alloy. I don't deal much with exotic metals, but it could be tungsten blend. A, a tungsten blend. It's razor sharp, that's all I know. I don't know anything else about it, and I certainly don't know who made it. If you find out, let me know. I'd love to, s to sell them here in my shop. Thanks. Okay, and now... Is there some way to mass identify? Mm. Or even a way to just... No, I guess you, you have to mouse over everything to know whether it's in need of identification. Okay, start with this one. 25. Uh, wind ring, plus 2 dodge. I mean, yeah, sure. I guess I'll take that. I could sell it for 50. Um, well, actually, I'm, I could sell it for less than 50. Oh, you, you're you not even going to buy it. 1 gold to let me know that it's literally just a wild potato. Thankfully, apparently, identification is independent of the uh, the shop's specialization, so that's nice. Actually, I can sell this one because I have a better one. In fact, yeah, I can obviously also sell this one. And this cudgel because I'm not using those rotted meat. Why would you want that? Why would anyone want that? One silverware. 25 gold. Uh, copper chain jerkin, heavy armor. Okay. And I'll sell that for exactly that amount. Uh, unknown. It's a lantern. Oh. Interesting. Where would I equip that? Would I just take that into my hand? I guess. Hmm. I'm, I can only assume that a lantern or other light source is more effective in lighting the area than the default torches are. It's less convenient, though, because you actually have to manage it as a, an individual item. What is this? Bag of spices. Okay. These are butter, uh, bitter cup seeds, actually. Consumable? Why would I eat those? That doesn't sound very nice. This is just miscellaneous. Hmm. Cotton wick, iron knife, ham sandals. Actually, uh, I mean, it was convenient to have this when I wanted to deal less damage. Hmm. I guess I can keep that around for that purpose. For when I need to uh, prep... A powder keg for explosion. 48 gold. Uh, okay, sure. I'm gonna make more gold eventually. Bronze chain boots. Those are unfortunately... Oh, wait. Well, I mean, I can sell those for the same amount. I guess. Okay. <laughs> well, I mean... I guess I didn't lose any money. And maybe uh, I'll be able to identify these items from now on. I don't know how that, how that works. Oh, 
that needs to be identified, and it is well, just meat scraps, not rat meat, but actual edible meat. Not that rat meat isn't edible. Okay, well, let's head on over here. And all right, never put that on. That's okay. Yeah, you won't. You won't buy those. Oh, sure, I'll have that identified. Traps and tribulations. Okay, I'll take a look at that before I try to sell it. Uh, will you buy this? Will you buy this? Will you buy this? Yes, for one gold. Wonderful. Hmm. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, let our materials know. I guess most of those things are for the uh, for the general store. Let's see here. Oh, that goes in the shield slot. Interesting. Of course, it wouldn't have an effect right now. But it is displayed on the character, which is kind of neat. Okay, let's um, keep that around with my I don't know other occasionally used items. Uh, the cover and spine of this book are constructed of a lightweight metal with hinges riveted to the seams. There is an intricate locking hatch, locking latch holding it closed. It takes you a few moments of fumbling with some tiny gears and switches to get it open. Once you are finally success successful and open the book to examine its contents, a small needle shoots out of the latch and embeds itself in the strap of your backpack. Extracting the needle, you note that it is coated with a dark purple substance. If you're reading this, if you're still alive after opening this book, then you have survived the first lesson. If it moves, it might be a trap. I shall now impart, you, uh, impart to you the knowledge I have gathered on the manufacturing, installation, and removal of traps as a 50-year member of the Brotherhood of Skulldaggerists. Um, okay. I mean, it says that, but I can't help but notice that I did not actually gain the skill of Skullduggery, which is unfortunate. Uh, you'll not find a more complete guide to traps in all of Ascalon, along with that first most valuable lesson i shall teach you many others such as if it's stationary it might be a trap and if it looks perfectly safe it's probably a trap etc <laughs> no matter what your skill level is you will learn something new i'll stake my remaining arm on it whether it be methods for disabling a trap integrated into a lock or even just identifying the type of trap so that you might be better informed as how you will die should you fail in disarming it there is something for everyone in this tome oh wait what you have gained the skill of skullduggery skullduggery Oh. Okay. That's really nice. That's really nice that you can actually learn completely new skills like that. And now I have it forever. That's awesome. Um, also, is the thirst getting worse? Or is that just the occasional an occasional effect? It seems like it, hopefully. No, I'm actually taking more damage now. That makes sense. I'm, I'm going to buy a drink here. It's fine. I'm not going to be able to afford um, a new spell scroll anyway, so... Unless maybe. Maybe I will. Eh, probably not, though. Yeah, I'll sell these. Pretty sure that miscellaneous items... Okay, I literally cannot sell that. That makes sense. Um, pretty sure that miscellaneous items are always just for selling. These are edible, technically. Hmm. Okay, he will buy the extra map. And this book. Okay, now I have enough. But I also have enough to to buy a spell and a drink. Okay, bottle of wine for four. Seems pretty cheap. So, yeah, it's a little bit um, worrying that I have been finding plenty of food, but almost no water. So water might be a bit of a concern in the long run. We'll see. I'm going to drink this. That did not do... As much as I hoped it would. I do have these apples too. I guess I should have eaten an apple to just, you know, stop myself from literally dying. But that's okay. Um, okay. Also, this is a mess. I guess I'll just have my food up here. Actually, oops. I will um, just rub this rotten meat here. Lost forever, yes. <laughs> bye bye. Okay, <laughs> interesting. Um, I guess I'll eat this. Hmm, bitter and dry. Hmm. But surprisingly nourishing, actually. Let's put the lantern there for no particular reason. Um, okay. I guess I want to keep these things. I mean, the journal and the note. 
I guess I don't technically have to. I could put them in... I could leave them at my house if I'm gonna go to the well anyway. In fact, I guess I could end the episode here. I am thirsty. It's true. No, actually what I want to do before I call this an episode is I'm gonna briefly pause, walk all the way back to my house, uh, fill in a bit more of the map, I guess, now with the correct colors. Um, and uh, fill my water skin and quench my thirst entirely. And then I'm gonna make my way all the way back to the bottom of the well to see if I if I can find that door that I seem to remember. Um, because I'm pretty sure... I don't know, I, I might be forgetting that I already opened it, but uh, I think I came across a door at some point and I didn't have the key for it. And uh, yeah, maybe, maybe I'm just misremembering. It's perfectly possible. If I don't find anything, then I guess I'm just gonna meet you back up here and uh, if I do find the door, we'll take a look behind it um, and, you know, see what's what. So I'll see you in a second. Aha! Uh -huh. I was not crazy. There is a door here and I was I was second-guessing myself because I thought that I might have, uh, you know, added something to the map even if I couldn't see it, but I mean, I can obviously clearly see it in the main window, so that's why I wasn't sure that's how that worked, but yeah, this does indeed unlock it. Also, um, well, I'm, my thirst is already a little bit uh, gone down because I've been wandering so much around the uh, overworld, filling in the map. Um, I have found a few things. I found a somewhat hidden barrel beneath, uh, or uh, not beneath, behind the uh, behind Wendy's room, basically, which I, which I had to move, uh, you know, between the trees around a little bit awkwardly, and that had uh, bloodstained boots, which is light armor, uh, with unfortunately still only one armor rating, and I don't know if I. If these are cursed or anything, I don't think they are. Um, I'm not sure if these are some sort of Easter egg or something, or if that's just a type of boots. I mean, normally you probably wouldn't want to want any bloodstained boots, especially if you if you don't know whose blood that is or where they come from. But you know, I figured why not? It's not an upgrade over my sandals. In fact, they're heavier, but you know, just for fun, I suppose, since I don't really expect. That to be bad in any way. The, the, the other thing is, um, I did go all the way back to my house and my well. I did store away the mysterious note and the diary, um, figuring that I would will probably never really need them again. Um, and uh, when I clicked on my well, it filled my thirst and also said that uh, I filled my water skin, but it still says empty. And I, yeah, it, it definitely is empty. I can't use it. Um, I'm sure it I thought also oh, okay. You can only scroll back so far. Yeah, I didn't did encounter a few rats here and there in the woods. I didn't stray too far from the places that I had already seen on camera. Just you know, but uh, yeah. And so when you click on the well, it says you fill your water skin and you quench your thirst. But the water skin remains empty. And yeah, I don't know if there's something buggy about this particular water skin or or what, but that's definitely unfortunate. Um, this small room is filled with garbage and smells horrible. Pieces of broken furniture and wrinkled papers are scattered everywhere. A burning floor lamp is evidence that someone was recently here. Well, someone. It's not like I could have come here before meeting Julian and taking his key, so... Scrip of parchment. Uh, this can be sold. And a gem. That can definitely be sold. Although, if... Um, if uh, it's consistent that identification cost is the same as uh, as what I will sell the item for, then uh, that's a bit unsatisfying. Of course, I could hold on to things that I suspect to be more valuable uh, until I have the, the the spell to identify things with. In fact, I already have the money. I totally do. Yeah, of course. Uh, I guess I will probably buy that lore spell and just to see if I if that can help me identify some some things. I mean, obviously, that's also going to come in several levels, and, you know, certain items are going to require higher higher skill levels, higher spell levels to be identified, but it might help a little bit. Uh, what is this? Uh, the words on this parchment are frantically scribbled and barely legible. I cannot sleep anymore. When my eyes are closed, I see him. I hear his voice. He commands the four stars. Commands the four stars, and I'm blessed that he speaks to me, only to me. He is the exalted, the crimson sun that rises in the south, and I would give my life to him. Those who march to impede his crusade must be eliminated. The one, huh? So that's the power, the mysterious power commanding the armies, first of the goblins and the not-orcs. 
Um, and now of the Minotaurs, the, the, the Torox, or what are they called? Torons? Torin? Um, hmm. And he wants, I don't know, to re regain his full power by having the four Cruxes combined, recombined. That's what it sounds like right now. Okay, I think this is the only thing that I remembered passing by and not being able to do. Uh, yeah, that was definitely the, the door that I remembered. So I'm going to make my way back up to the surface to... Uh, yeah, right, I guess I, I was meaning to talk to Wendy. And I'm also going to buy the spell and learn it and see if that helps me identify this, uh, this gem that I found. Okay, well, back on the surface, I purchased the lore spell, which I can learn. That's good. I'm gonna bind this to two because oh, to two because why not? Okay. Um, right. Obviously, don't have the, sp uh, the skill yet for anything past level one. That's fine. The lore on an inventory item. Okay. So let's try this. Small ruby. Value only ten. Okay. That's less than I hoped for. Uh, let's eat that one. Salted fish. Is that actually going to make me thirstier? No, it's not. But that's very filling. Okay, good to know. Well, I'll go ahead and sell this ruby then. For five. Yeah, half its value. I guess it's always half the value, half the item's value to identify and also half the value uh, that, you'll sell, that you'll sell for if you don't have any more skills, um, any 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 merchant skill or mercantile skill or whatever. Uh, Holy Book of Rai, defensive attire. I mean, I really wonder. This green book. I wonder if that's consistent. Uh, the the color of the book, if that tells you something. Uh, light armor materials. Holy Book of Rai. Are these gonna help with crafting? Is there even crafting? I I still don't know. Um, the green one here did give me did teach me a proper skill. But these also sound like they would have to do with either crafting or the skill. So, I don't know, maybe it's not... Maybe it's red for combat-oriented skills and green for, like, general use skills. And then maybe some other color for magic skills? Hmm. I'm sure I will find out over time. Hey, Wendy. Um, oh, I literally cannot talk to her about anything. It's probably better. She, I guess she doesn't know. Uh, she doesn't need to know about Julian's fate. And, you know, if if his death is going to uh, make those voices in her head stop over time, perhaps, then all the better. If not, well... Uh, yeah. Well, anyway, I guess that's it for this episode. Next time, I'm going to finally take a look at the... Uh, or I'm going to go look for the, the constable, which... Uh, or who, whose house might be around here, maybe? Or maybe around here? There certainly seems to be a house uh, around here. And there's definitely a road going, I guess this is supposed to be north? Or maybe maybe north is literally up here. I don't, I don't really know um, how to interpret this. But, uh, well, somewhere around here, probably. And uh, there's definitely a road going this way. and um, Which is, you know, one of the few things that, that are still not being... Uh, marked on the auto map. So, I don't know, maybe I'll put another point in next level up and see if it changes anything. But uh, I guess at this current level it's definitely usable enough, so I might stop and just put points into more useful things. Anyway, um, still a little ways to go for the next level up. Uh, for the time being, I thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment, and I shall see you real soon. Bye-bye.